Fatiha. Okay. Anything else? That's enough. We don't recommend using anything Wahhabi. Even what they say is Sunnat, there must be something crooked in that. Of course. We say in Prophet saying, trim the mustache, they shave the mustache. Now you look like a monkey. Prophet said to Asalam speaking. Okay. You cannot drag the uh, the hem of your uh, shalwar or whatever the men's that they are wearing. They say now we have to cut it to show our uh, ugly feet. They are always going extreme. Okay, spirituality they don't believe at all, but all these things, details, they go to an extreme and it becomes a religion of mustache and uh, hem of the shalwar. That is showing your spirituality, how you shave your mustache and how high your shalwar is, how much of your ugly feet that you are showing. But the hadith is saying trim, it is not to shave. And that hadith goes on because Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq is asking even for us, the hadith is going on, it is even for us, Ya Rasulullah, Prophet lets us look and says no. Pride you don't have. So there is an exception. If you are, because in the old days when people they are wearing uh, clothes, they wear long clothes, clothes that is dragging to the ground, and everyone is doing that to show pride now. Hmm? And that is forbidden if there is pride. So now there is an intention to the action. But to Hazrat Al Bakr, he says, no, that is not applicable to you. Allah hates pride because it says pride is for me, is not for you. He doesn't like it in his creatures. Prophet says, walk humbly. But there was one time they were making the Hajj. And it was actually, I believe it was the Hajj. And he was one Sahabi was walking in the Safa Marwa and he was walking very proudly. And Prophet started laughing and says, Allah hates the walk of a proud person. But you are an exception because you're walking proudly to show the haybat of Islam to the unbelievers that are everywhere. So now there is uh, a context and an intention. People, they have no brains, so they cannot put context. They have no, uh, they have no intelligence, so they, cannot, they don't know what is uh, intention. They don't know. May Allah make us to have more sincerity and more faith and more strength to carry our faith inshallah and to forgive us uh, for all the wrong things that we have done all those wrong things that we have done openly and hiddenly all those wrong things that we are thinking to do uh, for the sake of the prophet for the sake of the hajj season to make us to enter into these holy times understanding what is a sacrifice and to sacrifice ourselves, our life, our prayers, our children, our property in the way of Allah and to give us more strength inshallah. We're not asking Allah to test us, but we're asking Allah to send us more mercy for the sake of Sahibul Saif Al Fatiha. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now there's going to be so many questions about uh, my eagle cane, believe me, because I'm putting it here deliberately. Showing now, so many people are saying, Oh, is eagle in Islam, brother? Mm. All eagles are Muslims, but not all Muslims are eagles, and not all Muslims have faith. <laughs> May Allah forgive me. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>